Weird. But like I said, um, I'm from South Dakota. I live in Minneapolis now. But for several years, I lived in Los Angeles. And one of the biggest things I miss about Los Angeles is the Hispanic Asian people on the news. And I'll tell you why. Because when they speak perfect English, right up until the time they have to say their own name. You know, it's kind of like, hi, welcome to the 6 o'clock news. My name is Maria Conchita Rodriguez Garza. <laughs> It's so ethnic, right? Because <laughs> listen, I'm half Japanese, but I don't come up on stage and say, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kyle Yamada. <laughs> but I've got to admit, it was a little weird growing up in South Dakota being half Japanese. You know, because there's no other Asians there. You know, it's like one lady the other day said, well, Kyle, did you grow up in an Asian community? What? I'm like, I grew up in South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is the Asian community. <laughs> <laughs> then she said, well, if you're Japanese, you must love to eat sushi. Listen, you order sushi in South Dakota, they bring you a rainbow trout with rice aroni. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a side of ranch dressing. Here you go, sir. <laughs> but it's interesting. Unfortunately, my, my parents um, have passed away. But my dad was Japanese, and my mom was, among other things, Irish. And that's kind of a weird combination, isn't it? Japanese and Irish. So basically, all that means is that I used to get really, really drunk and then take a lot of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> I also eat corned beef and cabbage with chopsticks. <laughs> but, I don't know. <laughs> the one I, I like to, that I get a lot is when people come up to me and they say, Well, Kyle, if you're Japanese, you must know karate. What? And they say this to me like just because of the fact that I'm half. Asian that I popped out of the womb a second degree black belt, you know? <laughs> you know, like my mom was in the delivery room and I was like, Mrs. Shimano, we can see the head. Push, push. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Umbilical cord? <laughs> Doctor, you better not slap me again. <laughs> and the nurse comes out, congratulations, it's a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm married, I've got, I've got to have a wife, I have two kids, um, and we really try to do things as a family. Um, and one of the things that we really love doing is going to Japanese hibachi steakhouses. You guys know the ones, right? That, that, that the chef cooks right in front of you and puts on a show, right? You know, it's like... You like egg roll? Egg roll! Japanese egg roll! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Rice, rice, baby. Ding, ding, ding. cheesy but fun at the same time, right? I love it. When I go to one of these things, I get so excited. I'm like, do the thing! My kids are looking at me like, Mom, can we go? Well, listen, when I go to a Japanese steakhouse, I want a Japanese chef. You know, I want the authentic thing, you know? So when I go to a Japanese steakhouse, I want my chef to be named Kasuki Yamasaki from Osaka, Japan. <laughs> Last time we went, we got Paco Ramirez from Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> well, he comes out, hey, how'd you doing? <laughs> and I even called him on him, I'm like, dude, are you even Japanese? 
He looks right at me and he goes, See. <laughs> hey, John, this is Eagle Must Come and Put an support for more. And that one, what was even more weird was he told us the specials while he was beatboxing. You know, he was like, cheating off a white kid's math test. Because <laughs> oh, I, wasn't, I wasn't a very good student when I grew up. But I will say, I did go to college and I did get a degree. And uh, to graduate, it only took me one and a half uh, presidential terms. I think that's what it was. <laughs> You know, I was on the, it's a marathon, not a sprint program. Anybody familiar with that? Yeah, I think my, my problem was is that I just didn't know what major to pick, you know? I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I kept changing majors. In fact, I had three majors in college. Business management, Spanish, and physical education. Which means if I got a degree in all of them, I could have my own business teaching Hispanic people how to jump rope. <laughs> so that's why I'm a comedian. <laughs> but I got through college. Like I said, now I'm married. We got married people here by applause. Yeah, yeah marriage is cool. I like marriage, it's fun. I, I, I love my wife. Um, but see, I'm a Christian. Which means I believe that God created marriage, but he also made men and women so different. Right? Which makes it challenging, right? Like, when, the one thing that is so different about men and women is that women always compliment each other. Right? You'll just go up to each, each other and just go, Kathy, I love that blouse. Is it new? <laughs> you will never see two men have this conversation. <laughs> You'll never see this. Hey, Bruce, your hair is absolutely stunning this year. <laughs> and those shorts are adorable. <laughs> you know, the color of that shirt really makes your eyes pop. <laughs> now let's go fishing. <laughs> You're never gonna see that, right? 